Sandra Pierami is a Cameroonian Italian girl, different and unique in her own way. Uh, music has always been a part of my life. Growing up as a kid, I sang. And um, uh, when I was at the uni, that's when I took music more seriously. And then 2020, after graduating, that's where I 100% got into music. Afro, mixed Afro, urban. Um, so I infused the two, because, um, you know, I'm from two different worlds, so I have to blend it in a way. Um, what a band, actually. It's a girl talking to this um, fuckboy that she knows just wants to hit and run, and she's explaining, like, dude, it's not that easy, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm independent, and I work for my own things, so if you don't bring anything to the table, take a leave. I don't have time to waste. I've always been a fan of people like Salignolo, West Madico. They're weird, but yeah, I love, I love them. Yeah. And when I grew up, I mean, Ayana Kamoa, I really love her. And there's uh, Dua Lipa as well. And Doja Cat recently, I just fell in love with their energy. Like, I like them so much. They inspire me with. Uh, their energy, like the way they, they put the work they put in, it's something I admire a lot. Blanche Bailey, I think she's good. Stanley and No, because I think he's also unique in his own way, you know. I like to do a song with um, Dre Boy as well, because I've worked on so many projects with him, and I feel like we need to do a song together, it'll be nice to, to hear what we can do together. And the last but not the least would be um, Salatiel, because I think he's good at um, melodies. Yeah, he's good. Uh, I'm working on my EP and one collab for now. It's a surprise. <laughs> Honestly, um, it's a tough industry, it's not very easy to, to get in and do stuff, especially when you're different. They're not very receptive of what's new or new sounds, or if you're upcoming and you're bringing something different, everyone wants you to sing as someone, and that's something that I really, really think needs to change in the industry. And they need to be more receptive of creative and new ideas from the upcoming artists and be more supportive because, um, I feel like artists only support those who have already made it, made it, you know? But I believe that if artists who have made it support the young ones, then the industry will be more like versed and more broad and everyone will have different styles. But you can, at, in this industry, you can see five people singing like one A-list artist and it's just like, where are we going? Like, you know? Yeah, it's just like copy paste of this artist you copy paste, copy paste, and then at the end of the day, we listen to the same type of music from different people. And that's why you see um, there's some artists that would get to a certain level and they can't go to the next stage because they were singing to please the crowd instead of being themselves, you know? That's what I think. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have uh, Loco, Don't Call Me Back. I like the song. I have uh, Blanche Bailey, mine with Joe Boy. There's Stanley and No Pa 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 Yeah, like that one too. Um, and then there's uh, there's mine, Nobody's Ex. I listened to it yesterday. And uh, Chop My Life by Dre Boy and Naya. Because I like it, I, li I listen to it all the time as well. Yeah. Hello, this is Sandra Pirami in Focus for Urban Bridge. I don't want my name, make them talk.